Hi, my name's Catherine. I'm a librarian here at the Port Orange Regional Library in Volusia County, Florida. I'm going to help by showing you the first steps you need to take to begin to start your genealogical research. In this short video, I'm going to go over just a few things. I'm going to give you the, my top five tips before you start. I'm going to tell you about the types of records available on Ancestry.com Library Edition, and I'm going to show you how to get there from here. Okay, tip number one, get out your paper and pencil. Yes, I said paper and pencil, and write down what you know and even what you think you know. Start with yourself and then your parents and then their parents and go back as far as you can. The kinds of things that you're going to want to write down are their full name, birth date and place, marriage date and place, and death date and place. This is what we call vital records. Now tip number two, now it's time to talk to family members. See if they can help fill in any of the gaps that you might have. And while you're at it, this is a great time to conduct an oral history interview. Want to know how to do that? Leave a comment below and maybe that'll be my next class. Okay, tip number three, make a plan and stay focused. Don't go chasing rabbits down rabbit holes. Figure out what it is that you really want to know. And most importantly, what do you want to do with what you learn? What's your end goal? Okay, tips number four, A, B, and C. First of all, don't judge the past by today's standards. Maybe you'll find an ancestor was on the wrong side of history somewhere in the distant past. Try not to judge them as if they were here today. They made decisions at the time based on what they felt was right. And it's not up to us to judge that. Second of all, just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's true. And thirdly, be open-minded. You might have certain expectations or maybe somebody told you an old family story um, that might not be quite as true as you thought. Uh, it could be a family urban legend or myth, or maybe not, but be open-minded. And finally, tip number five, and this is really one of the most important things, create and maintain an organization method. Whether you use a notebook or forms or charts, try to stay organized. Okay. In our second step, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about some of the records that are available online in Ancestry.com Library Edition. Okay, you're going to find census and voter lists, and I highly recommend that you always start with the census records. Not only will you find the U.S. Federal Census from 1790 to 1940, except for 1890, but that's a whole other story. Um, you'll also find the UK census, Canadian census, oh, and so much more. Oh, on about that 1890 census, sadly it burned up in a fire. But the bright side of that is that because of that, the National Archives were created, and now many, many of our documents are safely stored away. You will also find what we call vital records, birth records, marriage records, death records. To me, some of the most exciting records to find are the immigration records. Find out when your ancestors first came to America, or maybe see a picture on an old passport of a great-great-grandparent. You can also find military records on Ancestry.com Library Edition. Now, there are many more records on Full 3, which is also available to you with your Volusia County Library card, but Ancestry has its own, some draft records, service records, pension records, and much, much more. What else can you find? Oh my gosh, you can find newspapers, city directories, family histories, 
public family trees, and it's just so much more. New records are added almost every day, and you can always check the card catalog to see what's new. Just remember, you never know what you'll find if you look hard enough. Okay, you've got all your tools ready. You've got all your information ready. You know what you're going to look for when you get there. But how do you get there? Well, let me show you. Okay, how do you get here from there? Well, you're going to open your a browser. I use Chrome and go to volusialibrary.org. Then you're going to hover right here over Digital Library and then hover over Research Databases. Now, because I'm going to go to Ancestry, the easiest and quickest way for me to get there is to click on Databases A to Z and then scroll down and you'll see the second link here is for Ancestry.com Library Edition. Now, this temporary link for remote access will not be here very long. This is temporary while the libraries are closed. However, once we open back up, this database will be available in the library's branches and all the branches. So come on in with your own laptop or use one of our public computers once everything's available. But for now, you're going to click right here, temporary link for remote access. You will need a library card number. Um, so have that ready. The, that won't show up here on my screen because I'm actually in the library today. There, you have Ancestry.com Library Edition available from home. Now you begin, begin to do your searches. Um, but I do want to point out a couple of things. Right here at the top, you'll see charts and forms. This is where you might go to, for example, to get some forms that make it easy for you to stay organized. You can even do a family tree. Um, I also want to point out the Learning Center, which will give you tips on how to actually use Ancestry. And then there's the search. Now, the very first thing you should probably start looking for are those great census records. Take the information that you already got and you can enter in your search information here. You can do broad searches, uh, limited searches, it's up to you. I'm teaching you how to use Ancestry is a whole new class. But if you need help, let us know in the comments and we'll see what we can do about giving you another class or pointing you to where you can get more help. I hope you enjoyed the video. When the library is open again, I hope you'll come to some of our genealogy classes. Many of the branches offer courses on how to research genealogy. We also have wonderful books that you can check out. And a couple of our branches have dedicated genealogy rooms. That's the DeLand and the Daytona branch. We have genealogy clubs that meet at several of our libraries. Hope to see you soon.